Hey everybody and welcome back to another line method workout. My name is Eva and I am really excited to have you guys join me today for this quick side line workout. So what does that mean exactly? It means all of the exercises that we are going to be doing today are going to be done in the side line position on the floor. So it's going to be a lot of single leg work. We're going to get working through the obliques a little bit, maybe go with a little bit of spine and hip rotation. Um, you are actually not going to need any props for today's class we're gonna do this totally body weight if you would like to pull out one of those mini bands and maybe pop it around your knees I'm certainly not gonna stop you it would definitely add a bit of a challenge but I just like, don't think you're gonna need it today so with that being said we're gonna dive right on in I'm gonna start laying down on my left side my right hip is gonna be the top one and to begin today I want to go actually through some slightly larger movements just to get the joint moving and then we're going to go into some of the smaller micro movements that really start lighting up your bum. So first things first, let's make sure we're in a nice strong position to start. Arm is down, head is just resting, relaxed in your arm, shoulders are out of the ears. Take an inhale right into the rib cage right into the diaphragm and then exhale to lengthen your spine. Beautiful. Make sure your hips, knees, and ankles are all stacked on top of each other. We inhale to prep and we're gonna exhale, lift the leg, lengthen it out long to the end of the mat, pull that leg right back in and lower down. So like I said, we're gonna start today with some slightly larger movements cycling through this one just to get those big hip muscles warmed up before we start getting into the nitty gritty. Making sure that your knee and ankle are moving at the same height. Let's just go for three more. And we're gonna go two more. We're gonna go one more. Send it long, pull that knee in, hold it right there, and just start giving me some big circles out of that knee. Pretty large ones here. Make sure you are in fact drawing a circle with your kneecap, not a square, not a triangle. For three, two, one, and reverse directions. Keeping your hips nice and steady for three, two, and last one, lower down. All right, let's go into some smaller moves here. Top arm can go where it pleases. Heels are stacked so that we can go into some clamshell. And hopefully you're actually able to feel this clamshell a little bit more directly in your glute than just outside the thigh. If all you're getting here is IT bands, maybe make it a little bit smaller. See what works well for you. Ooh, my glutes are already lighting up here. This is a fun one today. Let's go for three, two, one. One more, lower down, and now squeeze the inner thighs together. Just raise the top heel. We internally rotate and lower. And again, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, keep going. This sideline series is honestly a fantastic series to do if you're someone who sits maybe for a lot of the day, if you deal with like hip or back aches that aren't due to a specific injury. These hip muscles are so, so important for supporting your hip health, your spine health, and yet they don't get a lot of TLC when we work out. Hold it steady. All right, now we're gonna build on that leg lift series. Hold it, lengthen that leg out long, point the toe as you pull that long leg forward. Flex the foot as you drag it back. Oh my goodness. Point the toe and flex the foot. Try not to let your leg droop down to the floor. Keep your lower back really long and strong here, guys. Whew, let's go two more. And let's go one more. All right, now we're gonna do what I just said not to do. Tap and lift. 
tap and lift and again tap hold it long out there for four whew, three two worst thing you'll do all day one lower everything down oh my gosh that is an intense one on the hip you guys roll onto your back real quick take a quick figure four for me so that whatever ankle was on top you're going to cross it over your knee whatever that top hip was and we'll just hang out here enjoy that stretch for a moment <sighs> Beautiful job, guys. Alrighty, let's have you roll right on over to the opposite side, however you feel comfiest getting there. I'm gonna come down and face you guys, and we're gonna start once again with that slightly larger movement series. Knees and ankles are stacked, head is resting down in your arm. Abdominals are lengthening out. Take a big inhale and an exhale to get everything strong and long in your spine. All right, we inhale to prep. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Bend and lower down. And again, lift, lengthen, bend and repeat. Lift, lengthen, bend and keep cycling through so you just feel that great bit of work in your hip socket through that glute muscle in back and on the side let's go two more because then we've got those circles and let's go one more up and drag it in and hold it up lifted so you can circle, oh my goodness, circle that hip around. This is tight. Breathe for three, two, one. Reverse directions, circling through. Ah, for three, two, one. Woo, lower down. All right, stack everything once more so we can go right into those clamshells. Good, make sure the back of your neck stays long here, guys. I think I'm gonna actually pull my knees forward a little bit so that I can get a little bit more deep into the hip. Whew. Keep going, everybody. Squeeze your heels together really actively. Let's go, three, and then we're gonna build. Two, one, now get ready. Parallel lift that leg. Send it long, point the toe, pointed toe pulls forward, flexed foot comes back. And again, as you pull your foot forward, you almost wanna feel like your butt is sticking out behind you, like you're sitting in a chair. And that's gonna keep you from rounding the lower back. Let's go three, oh my goodness, this is a lot of work. Two, and we're not even done yet. One more, pull it forward so we can tap. Woo, tap, lift, tap, lift for three. You can do it. Two, one, lower everything down. Oh my God, that side got me so good. Anywho, go ahead, lay flat on your back. And woo, across into that figure four stretch. I couldn't even finish the cue. That's how much my glute was burning. <sighs> breathe into that stretch enjoy it that is a lot of hip work <sighs> kind of relax into that stretch a little bit you can always pull it more deeply into your chest if you'd like to Alrighty, let's go ahead. Stay on the same side actually, but come so that you are resting now on your elbow. And we're gonna work a little bit more deeply into the obliques. So now when you do your setup, I'm gonna make sure your elbow's right underneath your shoulder, your abdominals are lifted away from the floor so we're not drooping, knees and ankles are still stacked. And speaking of which, 
pop the top arm on the hip so the hips stay stacked, and just lift your bum straight up off the floor, and lower. And again, lift up, and what we're trying to do here is feel a good bit of oblique work, definitely gonna feel that shoulder working a little bit. Lift, and lower, lift, and lower. We're gonna add on in two more, and lower. Hold it up, last one. Lengthen the top leg if it feels okay for you. Lengthen the top arm, and now reach, continuing to lift your side body. Lengthen your body out in two opposite directions, and then pull back through center. And again, lift up. Float out of your arms, and lower. And again, lift up. And let's go one more, lift, and lower down, and go ahead, bring yourself up to seated, shake that shoulder out, and let's pop right around to the opposite side so that we can finish off this series. Once again, knees and ankles will be stacked, bottom arm is going to be resting right underneath the shoulder, top hand can really go wherever it's comfortable, lift straight up and lower, and again, lift, and lower, pressing that arm down to lift you up for four, and three, let's go two, hold it up one, lengthen that leg long, reach the top arm, and now we lift and reach, and lower, and again, let's lift and reach, and lower, and three more lifts, and lower, let's go two more lifts, and let's go one more lift, and lower, and go ahead, relax, find yourself in seated, and you guys, that is literally going to be the day. Just two quick series to help get your hips turned on a little bit, a little fired up, help get those obliques, the ribs, the spine moving and grooving through a little bit of strength. So hopefully you guys just are feeling a little bit stronger after just this 10 minute series. But this is a really, really easy one to implement um, into your just day to day. I mean, even if you've got 10 minutes in the middle of your work day to just kind of pop down, reset the hips, reset the spine. It'll do you a world of good in the long run. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, wherever you are. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye, everybody.